Watch you guys in this video we're taking a look at how to guide on create Windows 10 USB install drive so if you want to create a bootable USB install drive then this is a video for you now from time to time we have to reinstall Windows and this is going to be how you can do it first off you will need to get yourself a USB flash drive the choice is yours there's tons of them to choose from from SanDisk to Kingston to a bunch of others these are pretty affordable they're not the fastest flash drives in the world these ones but they do 64 gigabytes 32 gigabytes and you've also got 256 and 128 gigabytes for 12 pounds and 96 pence they're not the fastest as i've said so if you're looking for something other than just to install windows 10 off of then maybe look elsewhere but for something like this they're ideal uh, for that and they're pretty affordable so once you've got your usb flash drive you're going to need to go over to google and type in there windows 10 media creation tool and you can type that into google and it should come up here and then what you want to do is go on the first link which will be the top one saying download windows 10 disk image iso file microsoft click on there and this is where you're going to see download windows 10. now don't worry about the very top one here which says windows 10 update now that is for updating the pc that you're on as you uh, are looking at this video so you don't want to do that you want to click the uh, create create windows 10 installation media download tool now when you click on that it will allow you to download the media creation tool to create the bootable usb flash drive that you need to install windows 10. so click on download tool now once you get that downloaded you'll see it in the bottom left hand corner you can then click on this and it will open up the media creation tool just wait till that populates a little bit and now we're at the desktop and as you can see here it's getting a few things ready this does take a bit of time so be patient this is where you're going to get the chance to read the Microsoft uh, software license agreement and you'll be able to read there if you want to if you don't you can just accept that and move on you can't decline it it won't let you continue so you will need to accept those terms and then it will get a few things ready and start to download the ISO file, which will be the Windows 10 file, and then put that onto your USB flash drive. You will see upgrade this PC now. That is to upgrade the PC that you are using. You don't want to do that. You want to put the radio button in create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file, and then you'll get select your language and architecture and addition. So I'm going to remove the tick from use this recommended option for this PC because if you want to install this on multiple different PCs then you want to remove this. If it's just for this PC that you're using and you want to create a bootable media for this PC then leave the tick in. Next you can choose your language. I'm going to be choosing English United Kingdom. Addition will be obviously Windows 10 because that's what we're creating here and this is for only Windows 10. The architecture will normally be 64-bit, but you do have an option to do 32-bit times 86, which is 32-bit, or you can do both. So if you want both of them as an option, you can have them both there, just in case you want to install 32-bit or 64-bit on other machines at any one time. I'm just going to do the 64-bit here, but if you do want to do both, leave the both uh, selected in the architecture there. Once you've got that done, you can click next and move on to the next stage. As you can see here, USB flash drive, it needs at least eight gigabytes. I'm gonna leave that selected and click next. You will see it's a recognize my USB flash drive. It's called BIOS. That's because I was doing a BIOS flash with it. But if you don't see it listed, you can hit the refresh drive list. But I've got it listed there, so I'm gonna click next and it will get a couple of things ready for us so just wait and it will then start downloading Windows 10. Now how long does it take to download? Well that's going to depend on how fast your internet speed is and how good the server is that you're downloading it from. So you can see here I've speeded this up to make it quicker but it does take a fair bit of time to download the Windows 10 um, off their servers. It will then verify your download this only takes a little bit of time and then once it's verified the download is good it will then start to create the windows 10 media and this will take a bit of time so i'll speed this process up and uh, once this is done we should have a bootable usb flash drive with windows 10 on it so we can then install windows 10 from that usb flash drive now you will need to change the boot order to boot to that usb flash drive and that can be done in your bios 
which is very simple and easy to do. And I'll show you how to do that after it's finished creating the Windows 10 media. So we're nearly there now, we've got 98% and this will just finish off here and it will tell you that the uh, Windows 10 is ready to use. And we've got 99% and we are done. So your USB flash drive is ready for use. We can then click finish and it will clean up uh, some of the files that is used to create this. As you can see, setup is cleaning up before it closes. Let that finish off. And you are now ready to boot to that USB flash drive and install Windows 10. I'm going to make a small mini series on things that are very useful to, to know and put them in a playlist so you can follow along. These are pretty basic videos, but they might help someone. So I hope it does. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Look out for the installation bit that's coming next. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.